During the summer, our storm experts warn us about rip currents all the time, especially this week with some increased surf. But to get a better understanding of these hidden dangers, our Lauren Routing Crans talked to some pros who swim in them all the time. So you've been surfing before you could walk. My fingers are purple and sparkly, but they're not that scary. Nice job, buddy. Wow, whoa, look at all this sand. You know maybe a thing or two about rip currents. Yes, I do. Rip currents are these strong forces of water that hold you they pull you out into the ocean. Kind of like a river that sucks you out into the ocean. And if you get trapped, it can be very dangerous. It's like something you can't really explain unless once you've been in it, then you know what it is. You can't like swim forwards and try to fight it because that'll waste all your energy and you'll drown. You shouldn't um, fight the water. And if you fight it, you might But when you panic, you're just making it worse for yourself. And all you have to do, you just try to relax. And once the current lessens, they should try and swim out to the side and swim away. Like, if you see something that looks suspicious in the water, don't go near it. Yeah, I think that's a good tip. And whenever you feel it stopping, just swim left or right. You want to either go diagonal or go across. If you're worried about rip currents, probably don't swim. Swim in front of the lifeguard just in case there is a, um, a rip current so you, they can tell you to get out of the water and move down. One thing people don't realize is they're not pulling you under, right? No, they're just pulling you out. Nice job! 